For this volume, we will build on your fire behavior understanding, challenge you with some rapid read techniques, and finish with several practice examples that you can discuss with your crew. Please keep in mind that the first fire engineering reading smoke training DVD outlined the reading smoke process with a bit more detail. Today, we're going to assume you've received this training so we can focus more on building our fire behavior and smoke reading understanding. Let's get started. Too often, it is firefighter actions that cause a vent-controlled fire to transition into an explosive growth phase. Opening a door and moving into dense smoke to attack the fire can actually start the sequence. So what's the solution? Actually, it's simple. Watch the smoke. Dense, turbulent smoke that has filled a box sets the stage for a vent-controlled fire and the resulting explosive growth event. When opening a door, wait a few seconds and watch what the smoke does. Now it's time to do some big picture scenarios. We've chosen several scenarios that can help you further develop your reading smoke skills. There are no trick examples and each one does have enough information to help you figure out the fire. We'll use the same format, but now you'll have more questions to discuss. Try to answer these questions with your crew. One, specifically where is the fire? Two, how big or intense is the fire? And three, what is the fire going to do next? And be specific. Finally, what tactics might work for your fire department? 